Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Contemporary Cardboard. I'm Nick and we're going to try to unbox a new game live, very much live right now, um, on stream, no more stopping down. There was a, a pretty annoying um, situation that I didn't think of, but it's been hopefully fixed and we are now streaming. Again, no one's really watching right now live anyways, so what I'm not even going to stop talking about it. But welcome back to another episode. Um, live in the new studio, um, a lot of my you know, streaming stuff has been in storage and just in boxes recently, but I had to unpack it and set it all up tonight because today we got a very awesome game in the mail. Perseverance, Castaway Chronicles from My Clash Games, and again, this is a big deal for me. I've been waiting for this game for a long time. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Plenty of you are out there hitting refresh on your your shipping notification screen, hoping it the uh, Santa will jump it off early <laughs> uh, in April for you. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's jump to the game cam here. Let's see, I've already uh, clicked the top. Here we go. Tape off. This is uh, this box is in another shipping box, so it's been very well protected. And looky what we have here. It's upside down. So let me <laughs> um, fix that right there. We go. No, let's go to this view. No, 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 no. I am uh, all over the place here. There we go. We'll stick with this view. <laughs> now, live. Um, it's been a very long time since I didn't realize how much I had to uh, tweak and set up. Anyways. Here we have the box. You can see, I don't know if you can tell the ticket here, with washed miniatures. Spare no expense on this dinosaur game. Ah, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Let's be very careful and get it out of the interior shipping box. We are done with this. There's even more cardboard on the bottom here. And we've got a lot of glitch. So we'll kind of do this here, and hopefully this will show up for most people. Um, this is uh, just the back of the box. This is a, obviously the back of the box. This is a, uh, you know, it's all inside. This is not a light, small game at all, folks. Just a heads up. This is gorgeous. This is the same size, I believe, box as um, the um, expansion box for um, uh Anachrony, because they come name. <laughs> Another my clash game. That's that's awesome. I had to do the base game in that because there's just so much to that game. Cut to the side. Here we go. Don't worry, that the sticker is on the shrink wrap, so you won't see that anymore. Thing. Here we go. Right. Um, initially, this is going to have like a garage door kind of um, presentation box, but a range of complications in the design process and just went with the old standard uh, lift off the top lid, including box farts. And there we go, we're in. Ooh, wow, look at that. We've got some art on the inside. We've got dinosaur scratches trying to get out. Will that show up here? Look at there we go. Dinosaurs are trying to get out of the box. I really, I love it. The art is amazing. We don't do this anymore. But... What garbage -o beans? Let's see what we got here. We have bags. We've got bag. Look at that. Comes in handy. Um, we have the Kickstarter dice tray here. You see that? This is a um, specifically art. Ooh, these are on both sides, and I believe it can go either way here. So here we have the art. I believe that's on the uh, the thumbnail of the video, actually. And then we also have art on the other side. And there's these plastic clips here on all four corners. And it is a it becomes an awesome looking dice tray because this is a dice worker placement game. So there we go. We've got art on that side, and I believe we've got 
Same, yeah, it actually clips the clip on the other way. So you pick your favorite art, and that's where you get to all your notes. And that's really cool. I didn't realize, I never, this is like a free add on, I believe it was free add on for um, everybody. This, this is a lot deeper. Um, you can't see all the art that well. I'm glad they went with uh, this. This is probably the art right here that I would use most of the time. And it's a bigger dive tray, more functional. But I believe that was a free add-on. That was really nice of them. Didn't re realize it was going to be double-sided. Here we have the um, first. This is a, uh, I believe right here is the art book. That's what it looks like to me. Let's see. Yeah. But it's there's also a able to player boards or shrink wrap in, in this as well. Yes, I see player boards and sheet sheets, it looks like. Well, I don't know that anyone is live watching. Hello if you are. If not, hello um, from the past. I unfortunately can't see. Not set up to see. Drop it. Not set up to see uh, comments at the very but I'll definitely answer them um, after the video is over. If any questions, um, clarifications, or stuff like that, because I'm sure there's going to be groups. But yeah, this is um, it's a little. It's like it's a it's a journal. It's Nora Chanley's journal as a reward. I will buy you a drink in case <laughs> in case it's lost. That's pretty cool. I could probably show you that instead of just <laughs> reading that. Let me try and tilt this up a bit here. Oof. You'll see more of my glorious face. Uh, but I'm not actively showing you stuff, but there you go. That's pretty cool. And it's just, yeah, flavored, all all flavor, all art. That's pretty cool. I'll definitely check that out later. And it's it's weathered, made it look weathered, like it washed up, you know, washed up on shore. That's very nice because this is a cruise ship. The 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 idea is this uh, cruise um, went through a Cthulhu type storm. I don't, Cthulhu's not really in it. It's just that what's the um, term that's not Cthulhu? I'm blanking on it. Um, went through a storm, lined out, and, and um, the whole cruise ship ended up in a different dimension and washed up on on a desert island that actually had dinosaurs on it. And you will eventually use the dinosaurs. You will defend against them in the first game because this is two games. This is episodes one and two, by the way. So it's like episode one, you're defending. The uh, your the people the settlements on shore, and then you play through that game, and then um, I believe I'm very positive how well you did on the game on that game episode one determines how well you do in the next game. Um, and you go deeper into the jungle, and eventually, um, in a couple of years when we get episodes three and four in a different box, it will uh, we'll be able to like use the dinosaurs to our advantage. That's the idea. So here we have character standees, which I don't know if I'll be using because I want there there should be miniatures deeper in the box, and then we have a help like a, a tracker that we do have to build, and that's fine. That I believe is like it's a boat tracker because you have to um, recruit fellow shipwreck people to um, to your side. To your uh, to help you out and to get stuff done. So next we have tray manual. Before you start, please remove every tray and printed component from the box and lay them out on your table while leaving the game box empty. Then proceed to remove the packed components from the trays and to punch out tokens on punch boards one to twelve. One to twelve. We're gonna be here a little bit, so this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> um, before starting to organize components back into their trays per this manual. So this is just a, this, th this is a multi-page, we got five, six, we have seven, eight, if you include the, the back, because that tells you how everything goes on. This is, this manual is bigger than some rule books, and this is just telling you how to put everything in the box. That's why I want to do the live stream, because I know that this was going to be an event to unbox and reset, resort, organize, and put away. And um, we're gonna we're gonna do it live. We're doing it live. Look at all this text. 
in the rule book. This is the Chronic Poem Expansion rule book. Warning, play after episode one and two. So I just spoiled some straight books. I'm sorry. Why, wouldn't, um, why was that above the rule book? Start here. Episode in one, two episodes in one box. So yeah, two episodes, basically two games. So this is the actual rule book. Um, still a lot of words, um, a lot of images, beautifully printed. Uh, there's kind of set up. It looks daunting. I remember I played this on Tabletop Simulator back during the lockdown, and it wasn't as bad. It was, you know, like like anything. You, you gotta, you got to. Um, let me see if I can make this bigger. Let's do this. Let's do. Here we go. I think this is probably the better view for everybody going forward. We'll do that. Again, this is learning. This is what you came for. You want to see the stuff big screen. I thought the down view camera was going to be the money shot, but we're just going to do the close up. Um, so where was I? <laughs> Played this on tabletop simulator. It wasn't that bad. Like anything, a game like this, teaching and overall lear you know, learning the game first is going to feel daunting, but it's not too bad once you get a couple of plays. In, or you know, once you get, uh, you know, one or two turns, I should say. So that was episode one rule book. Here's episode two rule book. Not going to show you know everything here, but just um, like I said, uh, you can see here there's a different board right there, and like see there you're kind of ex start to explore the island. It's been you know I want to say it's a generation or two in between um, episodes one and two. Episodes one, you're like I said, you just land and you're trying to get settled on, you know, get settled on the beach of the island and, you know, start a new life because, like, you get, you, you think you're going to, you know, you're hoping to get rescued, but probably not. I think it's pretty early on. Solo rule book. Just this another thick, super duper thick rule book just for solo. That's pretty cool. We'll just kind of set that aside. I think we're done with the books. Um, let me find this here. There we go. Let's keep the, this, the tray me a little handy because... We are gonna. We can maybe kind of go to here a little bit. We'll just we'll stay in this mode and, and do close-ups as we go because we've got a tray. We got four identical-looking trays here. So this, is, I assume, is going to be player tray. And you can see right here, there's this. It's mo mostly there. Well, yeah, mostly empty, and it's got some type of tokens which we'll take a look at right now. But when you know, you heard that a lot of people say that. Inserts are mostly designed to help protect the game until it gets to your house, they're shipping. It's 100, 110% true. So that's why we are we have to unbox everything, put it back in the right spot, and I'm very thankful for that rule, or that manual. Uh, because, I'm, there we go. That, that, I believe, is how it's supposed to stand up. Bada bang. These are blue players walls. So you're you know, you're defending. It's, I want it. I don't want to um, dumb it down too much because it's more than just a um, castle panic type game. But there's an element to that. Dinosaurs kind of queue up and go towards the walls. And um, if you, you know, this is the yellow players' walls here. Um, these are really nice uh, detail. They're uh, the other thing. Don't get, these don't have wash. Even though I paid for the wash, the wash is only going to be on the dinosaurs and I want to say the player uh, mules. But again, um, very well done. These are little temples. Um, these are um, so the walls are episode one when they're trying to reach our walls. This is episode two. I think like we're out there making a camp. I want to say so this is for episode two. So this is the yellow and blue players bit there. We've got, I want to take these out. These are, it looks like your standard um, mini bases, or, you know, um, not bases, but, you know, <laughs> bottles. So we got some yellows, and then we have here these little berries, which I can pull the what the berries do. Um, but I do remember in the Kickstarter. That these are squishy, and yeah, they are squishy. Look at that. I don't know if that comes through. I'm squeezing it. Don't eat these. <laughs> but these berries, I want to say they're wild, like a wild resource. 
But we have a bag of those guys, and there are two issues. I like that. So I'll put this guy back in here with his brethren. Boop. And we'll just keep the unboxing going. And then here um, we've got red player, green player, walls, and um, I want to say cubes or temples. Alrighty, next layer. This piece of paper, I would imagine, we won't need anymore. Oh, yeah, speaking of washed minis, here we go, folks. This is what you came for. Ooh, I like this. So we got finger holes on the side here. I like that. Thank you, Mind Clash. How else will we get that out? A tray full of minis. Ooh, here we go. Let's see what we got. These are dinosaur minis, mostly. Can't, um, usually, like, I wish I remember the name of them, but they're like hammerheads or something, or razor heads. Oh, there's teeth. There's teeth. It appears the uh, trivia that made it um, during shipping. Always like to see that. Thank you. Uh, they they feel good enough so far. Maybe one piece of tape on each end here. The plastic's not the thickest. I that's just a personal preference. Obviously, that you know, it's just uh, it's, it's your standard um, tray material. Uh, I like the this this lid has um, recessed bumps in there to help keep the dinosaurs from bouncing around. Again, mostly during shipping or even going from game from your from uh, your house to your to where you're gonna play. And, Hopefully that comes through on my not. Uh, I want. I think this is a zoomed in. Unfortunately. Oh, here we go. We can go back to. Here we go. Full full screen here, or mostly full screen. But look at the detail there. That wash was a twenty point dollar upgrade and one hundred percent worth it in my opinion. Because I'm not a painter. I took one or two classes at a con. And I'm I'm just too impatient. I want it to be perfect, and obviously you got to work at it. And that's just uh, let me let me try not cover my face so it doesn't zoom in on my face here. But there we go. So we have a lot of these guys. I want to say they're all the same. So they go two different ways, right? Actually, they do. So as you can see, it's like basically a, a mirror image. So one guy's looking one way, the other guy's looking the other. But these are the same dinosaur, and I believe they, they, these have a hexagonal base, and that matters. Um, I think some other other dinos have different bases, and that matters in gameplay. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten of uh, each um, direction, but again, I believe they're the same a dino. We got some humanoid minis. They're human. These are the Currently the good guys, and these do have a wash on them as well. So there we go. And I want to say these. Oh, here we go. Yeah, got these already out. Yeah. So these uh, discs fit uh, this guy here. Hope. And I don't know if that's permanent now that I did that, but I'm sure. Um, hopefully that's okay. <laughs> so ho hopefully it focuses as well. I wish I had my my uh, monitor closer so I can see that focus, but it should be. I'll go right down the barrel there. Hopefully it'll pop out without breaking. There we go, good. So hopefully uh, that was all right given that. What else we got here? We have these, I want to say. So that warrior that we just saw, he looked like he was fresh off the boat. This, uh, she looks like she's been on the island for a little bit. So I'm going to say this is for um, episode two. I have not played episode two yet. Um, again, played episode one in Tabletop Simulator over a year ago. Almost two. Whoa, man. Anyways, <laughs> not not Mind Clash's fault in the slightest. Everyone knows, you know, everyone be kind to your uh, to everybody out there. I'll just put it that way. With everything that's still going on, I won't get into uh, any more details on that. Just uh, be, be kind to everybody. Everything is delayed. We're starting to get back a little bit of normal. We'll see, but shutting up. Then on. What else? We got another tray. Uh, bada bing. And these are all dino. No tape on this. That's nice. 
Ah, yes. So this guy's standing up, and there's some wash on the base there. Nah, I don't care. I don't need that up, but that's fine. I want as long as there's wash on the mini. That's what I. That's what I want. So I pay for it. This guy's standing up. He's he's on his hinds hind legs there. Very nice. And then here, I yeah. So this is the same dino, just in a different pose. And I don't think again the poses don't matter. Pick pick which one you choose, and it helps because they're going to be kind of they're going to be a four. They're going to be Russian. Right, so just gives you a nice option. Um, table presence, let me put them in the right spot. Okay, that's really cool. They, that, I don't think I've ever like, seen, I mean, maybe in oh, that's cool that, that leg goes on in only one direction. That's nice. I mean, I'm not a big miniatures gamer, I'm more of a Euro guy. And this is this game is just for Euro, like, oh, I don't know this piece of paper anymore, but we'll hold on to that. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a, a, um, a game give you an alternate um, sculpt like that, just because. Alrighty, here we go. We got another tray here. We got a player board that's outside, that's above the lid. And then there is, but there is a lid here. So we have, we have four player uh, boards. And they are double sided. We have an um, we have an A side, and the A side is not recess is not recessed here. Um, but the B side is. So the, the those one those three tracks here that that's you know double double layered but only in one side, and that makes sense. I don't think science has come up with a way for us to have double sided, double layered um, player boards, but that's fine. And I'm okay with it. Um, I, it's not as double, it's not as thick as I would like or have seen in the past, but definitely okay. You're just tracking up your different, your three different resources there. Um, so that's one player's um, Ad 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 Adeleta. So that's her name. Um, I know this name, Phoenix. Pronounce that. There we go. Hopefully, other. Variables in focus there. And when it looks like the art's the same on both sides, yeah. So again, so what you already saw was um, the B side, which I assume is this maybe the more likely. It's probably asymmetric. I don't know. I'm not sure what the difference between A and B are. Um, B side has this here, which looks like it's an asymmetrical player. I got my middle finger that I'm touching there. Yeah, those are different from everybody. Keone. He looks like a, a battler guy. I believe that's what his special ability looks like. I won't show the other side because asymmetric. It doesn't show what his ability is. And then we have Jeff. This guy. Bada bang. So we're just going to try and keep it moving on. Because again, we've got to put all this back together. Um, I'm going to put the lit this back in its lid for now. Lift off the lid. Loop tape, it looks like. Nope, just the weight of the clear board type in that box. All right, we've got um, some more mini bait bottoms. And then we have, oh, here we go, the mini. Here we go. We've got the mini for, minis for each player. Uh, let's see. This that was probably the first person we saw. Is that her? She sounds like a Bella. <laughs> oh, this is Phoenix. She's got something on her arm. That's what she's got like a mechanical contraption, like a net shooter that's hanging off her side there. Uh, her her face looks really weird. <laughs> um, here is. Uh, Keone. Him. And then we've got probably Jack. Get him out here. Yep. Good old Jack. Everyone knows Jack. Minis come out great. Very well done. And again, if you can, if you're able to get the wash, you know, in a, at your Pretty local game store, I would imagine they sprung for the wash because they can make more money. <laughs> and it's just worth it. And who doesn't want that? You're already paying a lot of money for these games. 
pay a couple extra bucks. I'm not going to pick these up quite yet, but these are plastic um, cubes in the color of the players. We've got the uh, things we need to make our dial. And then what do we got here? These. Good. Where are these? Don't look familiar. I want to say they're episode two stuff. So this is a house on the top of something. A building on the top of something. You can see there's different, there's like three different floors, and you gotta walk up the spiral staircase around it, and there's a hut or something. So I guess we're building up so we can avoid the Oh, these might be outposts. So we can look out and see in episode two type stuff. Don't know making stuff. That's a um, somewhat uninformed un um, guess there. We gotta keep this train moving, folks. Started a lot later than I wanted to, and I apologize for that. We even had a little hiccup on the giddy up when we started. So, well, what do we got here? First play marker? Maybe. It's a uh, stick with a dinosaur head and. Um, oh, uh. Ribbons in the blowing the breeze. I want to say it's first point of the marker. If it's not, it isn't. <laughs> oh, alternate sculpt. Uh, there we go. Shooting out her her net shooter there. That's cool. We got alternate sculpts for the player for the um yeah for the player markers. That's a little bit easier to get out in this. Um, on this tray, that or I just get even better at unboxing in the last uh, minute or so. Staff's a little bent here, but that's again wash fully with it, in my opinion. Here we have I'm gonna keep it out of the bag now. James Temple, and this is. This is a part, like feels like plaster. This is not plastic. That came out great. Kind of looks like that uh, Aztec -y, um pyramid. That's really cool. Love the paint on that. Not a wash, but um, came out great. Poker chip. They're not you know full size poker chip. Nope. I take that back. These are cardboard standees. Probably not going to use these. Um, and then these are hexagonal standees. I want to say these are for the dinosaur, the hardware dinosaurs. Remember we saw hexagonal um, bottoms for those guys in three different colors. I don't know if we'll end up using that at all, but there's a tray for us, so hopefully it gets used elsewhere. Protector paper, another layer. This is a heavy one. This tray has got some weight to it. We've got sealed cheat sheets. Um, I wonder if they're all the same. There's quite a few of them, so this is probably for both. Um, what do you call it? Um, episodes. There we go. This is easier to get up on the right side. And I can actually tell that because I want to say. Oh, I don't want to say that. I don't know. Are there just that many? There's so many cheat sheets. Are they still cheat sheets? Because at this point, <laughs> I don't know. And I just realized is that camera backwards? I don't know. Can I even tell? No, no, that's right. It's good. Final score A. Look at that. All right. So I'll uh, stop bragging about the cameras and let's move on. So this cheat sheet has a specific color and icon there. Whoop. That's different than uh, this one here. And that green. One, that green box, I believe, is for episode one, and this box here, whoop, bada bang, I believe, is for episode two. 
Um, again, somewhat uneducated guess on that department. So, oh, these are um, player unique. Uh, again, you can see there um, different, very, you know, they're, they're specific to each character, which is cool. Let's stop talking about <laughs> cheat sheets, Nick. Go. We've got a pad, scoring pad here, double sided. Um, so it looks like maybe this is to help carry over from episode to episode. So we've got one side there, and yeah. So you can you can save your your work. So you don't have to play both episodes back to back in one day, one sit. Writing, where we go, straight back. Look at, we got some nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, upgraded size dice. These are not your everyday dice, boys and girls. They're, um, was it heat printed there? Like, that's not coming off. That's, you know, that's in there. They're very legible, which is very important. Yeah, I feel like you could definitely see that across, not across the table, but, you know. You're not you're not gonna be squinting at these guys. Um, we got a standard looks like D6 with uh, uh, with Roman numeral layer instead of being pips. We've got um, looks like this is a die that uh, gets you more upvotes. These things go in here. They don't. Man, they just put stuff wherever. Like it's gonna be interesting. This is what type of dinosaurs come out, I believe, um, in episode one for sure. Um, and then here's I believe what tracks you get more good stuff. Happy die, and then a more aggressive, I want to say, die. Um, hopefully you can see, you're can. able to see all that. I was looking at the dice and not making sure you can see them. I apologize. Uh, do, 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 do. Ah! A little clipper, aka not really. Uh, Chronicle card Iran pack. Please replace the two copies of the uh, Chronicle card 31 with the new copies that show the correct card name. You've already got fixes. Little. But that's fine. At least they got it. Look at these massive massive cards. Massive amount of massive cards. Whoa. And they're a beautiful. Um, I guess I should open these. Screw it, that's what we're here to do, right? There's no like legacy or like there shouldn't be any spoiler stuff. Again, we don't know what I'm looking at yet, right? So um let me make let me kind of look and see if there is anything that is somewhat spoilery here. Again, I'm not hundred percent sure where I'm looking at. I'm not gonna change the order on these too much. These uh, don't look familiar at all, so I'm going to say these are episode two. <laughs> but these are massive, and I think they're really good quality. Beautiful print. Beautiful art. Here's what the back of these guys. Canyon card. So yeah, like again, can't like going into the canyon, going in deeper into the island. Episode two stuff. And, and I think those being purple, more, more, the purple color, I think, believe is more episode two. And watch me get in trouble for sheer, like, spoiling stuff. Again, not, there's like, there's not a whole lot. There is a story, like an overall art, but not really like a story. What is here? Victory conditions. It's on the back. Victory conditions on these cards. I don't want to get them out of order quite yet because I, again, I'm not a member. Sure, sure, I'm looking at. Them. Yeah, so here we go. These are the planes. So these look like maybe like encounter cards. So these early, those first set of cards you're looking at, those were canyons. So these are planes cards, and they have a different back on them, and they have different value, like two through six. Or are these like four through eight? So these are, those are a little bit easier. They're easier to fight in the planes than in the can. But again, these are like, they're not. Tarot? Are they tarot sized cards? It's been a while since I've seen a, a tarot sized card. I want to say yes. 
So these have different types of backs on them. I think like these kind of let you know what is on the back, right? These icons kind of give you a hint as to what to expect. And uh, let's see, we'll just show these again, just kind of look. Again, not 100% sure what I'm looking at. <laughs> Hopefully uh, I didn't waste too much time on cards that we don't know a whole heck of a lot about. You probably know a lot more than I do. Um, but again, they look beautiful. They look great. Spared no expense um, on this production. That's my that's that's my classic demo for me. All their games have just production wise have been on the baseball. All right. They're all plastic on the ground. Someone else will clean it up. AKA me. I'm late to work. This is a patrol card. So these are their the deck of patrol cards. And uh, believe like you need to uh, encounter them, encounter the dino, and gain the benefit. Um, oh, this is <laughs> Clever girl. That. Got all of it. Um, again, art is beautiful. So, like the the number of the emperor left, I believe. So these these I remember the patrol cards from episode one. So like, um, you have to look like some kind of morning jog, and there's some extra motivation. Uh, run away from the dinosaur. Um, so these are like yeah like encounters that you need that you're you need to decide how many people you want to send out on patrol. The more you put people you've sent on patrol, the more likely you are to complete the. <laughs> Yeah, she's sunbathing. Has no idea what's going on behind her. Um, uh, the, the more people you send out on patrol, the more likely you are to complete these and get uh, these events and get their bonus. Plains Adventure. I want to say this is yeah. Again, so that little icon in the bottom there tells you that's episode two. That purple. I'll still show stuff. It, um, again, just not have for sure what it all means. It's game set two stuff. Hope you guys are liking this. Let me know in the comments below if you are, or if I'm super boring for you folks, and you're like, I don't care if you, there's more entertaining you know, the boxers out there. There probably are. But hey, ooh, look at that. What a box. Look at that. But hey, this is what I, this is what I do. I like to share the hobby. Ooh. What's going on there? I can't wait to find out. Um, I know mostly do unboxings. I want to maybe try and get into more reviews and stuff. Um, this the, again the playthrough, the one playthrough I did on this game I liked on uh, Tip Top Sim. So games tend to be good in person. <laughs> uh, we got mini itty bitty cards here. Um. I've had, I do notice that the cards that we're currently opening up and going through this tray doesn't look like there might be room for sleeving them and, and keeping them in the insert. Which I, you pretty much have to keep this insert because there's so much stuff in this box. Unless you just want to have a bunch of baddies in this massive uh, tomb almost. Um, these are like these are threat cards. I believe these are what you need. I'm not sure. I can't remember what these are. I'll show you right here. Actually, no, these, so yes, like these are episode two, so I have no idea. But there's some episode one stuff here. Like these are episode one. These are some stuff. These are random. I want to say. So hopefully, I don't know. Ah, I feel like I'm boring myself, and that's not. Okay. But we're gonna pers persevere through the inbox. We got metal tokens, folks. These are the trackers that we're going to be putting on our player boards. And these have been upgraded to metal. And they look like they came out amazing because that is, there's paint on the metal. Painted metal. Who thunk it, right? Ah, I'm getting bullied. 
get a little parched too to the tongue a lot. Hopefully you can all hear me still, and in a decent volume. I didn't even think about that. But hey, turn up turn up the volume when you're having trouble. I've done enough. <laughs> and I'm not gonna stop and freak out and think about it and stress. I'm just gonna persevere through the inbox. And I'll probably make that joke about a hundred more times. So we got vote tokens here. So we got zoom in that guy. Oh, hey, you can see that. It's got the peace sign or like the vote. I want to say that's like the vote icon, but then and then times ten on the other side. That's the metal. That's got like a lost coin look. I don't believe that is a is that a counter? No. I mean it's a count like you know one in ten, but it's not on the tracks. Like I count something else. Same with the next thing I'm about to show you. I want to say it's the same thing because the Next to after this one, I'm sure that it's like an eyeball, and then one side's got like a eyeball with arrows circling it. I'm not sure what's going on there, but these next two are the other tracker tokens that you're going to put on your player board to track the other tracks. You got to have a tracker to track. Boomerang looking thing, but that's the uh, it's got the another it's got the vote icon there, the finger the peace sign vote. I'm very sure that's the that icon represents the vote. And then we've got like strength or resistance here. Lost fists, kind of like the Wakanda Forever thing, because I think those are one person's one set of one person's arm, not like the different people. All right, nice baby. Here's the big. Here's the most. The dice you're gonna use in the metal. They are player colored, and then there's wild. Um, like that. More uh, very distinguishable from one to the other, so you don't have to like guess at what they are. Um, but these are different resources and actions that you'll get throughout the game. And I want to see the white ones have a little bit better return on them. You have to get them. Remember, but you just like you can you can tell like the red, green, blue, and and black. The white ones are like just bonus extra ones, and the other ones are player colors. And it tells you what you know that helps determine what player order I think too. Yeah, okay, we're getting close, folks, because this looks like the last tray. Let's um. Hmm. I need to. Does this one go to this one? Yes, it does. So we. This goes here. This go here. Most likely, we'll, that will stick. There's a lid here that I don't know where that goes. To. Oh, we put this here. We got um, last tray and minis. These are little baby dice out. Oh, I don't have any. No. There's a Jurassic Park chair I should have won. I don't think I have anyone, unfortunately. These guys are very small and delicate. Ooh. I don't know how they even made those. <laughs> I'm nervous to even touch and use these, man. These babies are eating as many. Like they're barely on their base. That makes me nervous. Alrighty. Um, we've already seen uh, these guys and these folks here. Um, she looks like, like she's in a different pose. The gun is down as opposed to shooting. Um, so we'll just kind of skim over that if that's okay with you folks. If not, you can yell at me in the comments. All right, well, we're not at the moment. What we do have is this box is still heavy and I took a lot of crap out of it, but this I believe is all the cardboard Punching and boards. It's okay. Cool. <laughs> There's no more trays. This is everything that's left in here. Uh, we we've got. What do we get? We do have shrink wrapped um, things to punch. And then what else do we? 
even bigger player boards, it looks like, because that was that Jack, and I forgot her name, but these are shrink wraps. There's four things or so in there. So two player, um, so two main board. Uh, that opens up, of course. We'll get to that in a second. So let's do episode one board, main board here that opens up. Ah, yes, there it is. Artists, it's a world again. Again, drooling over it. This is don't sign it. This is. So, I believe this we will do the uh, overhead board. Look at or camera. There we go. Hello, everybody. So, um, again, here's the, sh you know, here's our ship. We're, we're trying to um, establish colonies on the shore. Dinosaurs are going to be coming at us here um, and uh, give us hard times. Replacing uh, worker pla uh, dice worker placement here. When we do, we get these bonuses and they like a pair up. Or no, place them here. Sorry. Place up here, and these like we have to. We, if we roll that die, we can put that die there, um, and then we have uh, we get benefit, we get these types of uh, actions. So it also tells us what type of dinosaurs um, might uh, might be coming out of it, or will or might be. So I think this is definitely um, these two types. Uh, there's two types of here, and then this one is one specific type of die roll, uh, white or yellow. You don't know. Um, and again, yeah. So this is kind of the the um, I mentioned um, uh, tower defense type game because these dinosaurs will go in these spots and then they will attack. Here's where we can build our uh, what do you call it walls. <laughs> and um, here's where we place our two we have two different types of defenders. Um, some are not as some are weaker, some are stronger defend defending. Um, but again, dice uh, placing dice here gets these different gets the your choice of these actions. Um, specific action here. That's in which I wrote it. It's starting to come back to me, folks. It's starting to come back to me. So this is a two to three player side. And the four player side. There we go. Nothing. Uh, I imagine it's more dice or placement spots or different types of, or different number of actions, maybe. But that's the uh, episode one uh, the game board. Everybody kind of built this game so big and awesome. Alrighty. Episode 2. <laughs> recently I had a, a board, an old board, um, break on me. Uh, recently, so I'm a little gun shy there. This is a bigger board. Um, like this way, I believe. Uh, so we are, the art, uh, shows a much more because again i believe this is a generation or two in between episodes and uh this guy here sh uh, the art which again is amazing for that eight hundred time shows a more developed um uh establishment for the humans we definitely have a permanent wall now so we don't have to worry about that and then we have tile exploring up here in the jungles and or the the plain the, the plains and then the canyon here, and like we're gonna find that temple, that beautiful temple piece. It's gonna be somewhere out there. Not exactly there. So that's the two to three player side. And uh, boom! Four player side. Looks like maybe more to explore up top. And obviously more dice work and placement type stuff. I, I would imagine the same thing. Roll dice, hopefully you get the dice rolls you want. I'm sure you can uh, manipulate them. To help you out, mitigate your luck there. Um, going here lets you putting a rolling hammers that you build. Um, books it looks like lets you um, lets you do stuff in the marketplace or in politics. And then settle as a little variety here. And I would imagine these empty ones will take any type of die, but I'm sure they'll go quick and then they get specific. Uh, training with the bullhorn. Make an adventure with your back. Again, uh, oh, you can see the art here, I and mean, we can see on the board. Again, a little cool here. It looks like we're dismantling the ship, this cruise ship, to help build the settlement. That's the word for the bird. All right. 
Let's see what these. No. Am I? Okay, sorry. I just probably just ruined the audio for you folks. <laughs> um, fix the mic there. Apologize for making your ears bleed there. We're just going to continue on like nothing. Shrink, wrap. There we go. Add it to the massive growing pile of plastic on the floor. Ooh, look at these player board. Oh, look at we gotta go the uh, yes, massive, massive playing board here, single sided. Um, so it's just beautiful art on the back. And then we've got all these spots here are um, double, double, you know, double uh, thick recessed spots to put your your tokens there to lock them in. Now, again, not super thick, um, very, very shallow indentations there to put stuff in, but uh, still welcome, that's for sure. And again, you probably couldn't, you know, with all the stuff that's in this box, they probably had to go on the thin side. And keep it, you know, it's and it keeps it functional and keeps the cost down. So we have better, awesome stuff, more awesome stuff. Put the money where it matters, you know what I mean, when it comes to production. Boom. Cool. We'll block prints of, of the backs of these boards. These hero shots are off. Ooh. I just want to check something. Boop, boop. Good. All righty. I can do that. Because, <laughs> again, I'm gonna, if, is anybody watching this far? If you made it past, um, I don't know, in a comment, if you made it this far in the comments, say, uh, Bob's your uncle. Assuming people have made it, what, end of the first hour <laughs> for, for, for two hours. I don't know how long we've been talking to myself here. Quarter to midnight. Ugh. Good thing I uh, work late in the morning. Noon. All righty. This is the last uh, thing to open. Whew. We've got... I'm not going to punch these out quite yet. I'm probably only going to punch out what I want. Um, so we've got dinosaur standees. We've got um, patrol. Different, we've got different types of patrol guys. Um, I think this is like the weaker patrol. This is the stronger patrol, I want to say, um, if I remember right. And then we've got food tokens, berry tokens, which, again, these are upgraded to squishies. Um, I'm not 100 sure what these things are. I imagine I think I have to. I do have to punch these out to use these, but these guys I don't think we need to punch out for any of these items because we got awesome minis. So the same stuff, same stuff, maybe just different color on some of the, those tokens, like player colors. Yeah, those we'll ignore the rest of these guys. We don't need to ship them. Every one of those. We got a new punch board here. We've got some tiles for the for the tile expiration on episode two. And then we've got the different types of captains, which I help in the bottom there, those cards. I want to say like um those are like they don't they're not used every game. I think they help change up the rules, like the the um things you're trying to go for the during the game. During each game, does that even show up? Those guys, these uh, the different objectives. That's the word I'm looking for. It's late, folks, and I get up. Be dang thirsty. Um, let's see. Berry patch, Dino Boeing. I don't know what there was on the uh, unfortunate. But hey, oh, just punch the first thing out. <laughs> those we do have to punch out. So. More of these, uh, kind of more the same 
that first four there, just showing you the different, so you can see it better right there. Nope, they're right here. Let's see, there's some more um, objective uh, people there. More dino tokens. Yep. Blue, to blue tokens, looks like. People gotta eat. Bang, there we go. Yep, birds. We got just a couple more boards here. We got achievement cards or boards down at the bottom here. Achievements. I, again, iconography, there's a lot. No lie. But worth it. This board um, has very little on it, <laughs> comparatively. Board 5B. There's, there's a. <laughs> blanks there to cut, punch out if you want. And then here we have, I mentioned earlier, those like those factors, those dials we have to, to build. But then they help track our votes, which I believe is VP, and something else. Or maybe that is just those. But yeah, that's everything that's in the box, folks. There is a little, uh, one little piece of foam in there. Um, you keep that to keep the, the, the main boards flat and safe. I love the art inside, you know, just a little, nice little touch in there. You can see that there's art there. So now it's right there with the light. And that's the biggie boy. Bottom, get some extra, or just this different uh, art on the back, bottom. Probably never see. That, folks, is the unboxing. I mentioned earlier there is a um, manual that tells you how to put everything together. It doesn't look like I'm going to do that on camera because I am parched. I have to take a break. Turn on the Got in front of these bright lights. But um, that's going to be it. Yeah, I'm calling it. That's going to be it, folks. I, again, wanted to stick around and show you how it all goes together. But I doubt anyone's still watching because that's just me. Hopefully you are. Again, say Bob's your uncle in the comments below if you made it this far. And why that, it just came to me because I'm getting a little loopy. Um, I, I can't wait to play this. I can't wait to find people to play this with. <laughs> that's going to be the probably the biggest challenge because of uh, the world we live in um, now. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments. Yeah, if you liked it, what you want to see different, if anything, if you want more of this crazy live unboxing stuff. Again, I've been doing this for a couple of years, but just so sparingly that I don't know. 